If you're looking to buy an affordable laptop for a decent price, you might want to think twice as I'm going to share a little advice. So what I got here is this low end HP laptop, which is a, this one's a windows 10 era. Based on this little spec sticker, you might want to look what it comes with when you're spending. Sometimes if you're spending like $200 on a laptop, brand new from Walmart or any electronic store, if I can get this camera to focus, you see that where it says 32 gigabytes of EMMC, that's basically the storage. If you was to take Windows out of S mode, most of the time Windows will, down, will usually download a bunch of updates and most of the time you won't be able to install most of these updates, which is a, due to the fact that you don't have enough storage space on these little low-end laptops. Although this one is running version 1703. But for what the, for the part, for this part, for this little laptop, it's basically good for like basic web browsing and using LibreOffice. Although I did have to had to go in and remove major, vast majority of the bloatware. I can yeah, there we go. And I'm gonna show you right a little something right here on in this PC right here. As you may notice, most of that space is all from updates. While well, that's running this cleanup, so. The thing is, if you're gonna buy, you always wanna pay attention to the specs. Just because something is cheap doesn't mean it's good. Although it does, they do offer Office 365 a one year subscription. I wouldn't even waste money buying the subscription base of Microsoft Office. You're better off buying a standalone version of Microsoft. And another thing is when you're buying one of these low end laptops, most of the time they're gonna come with the S Windows in S mode, whether it's at, with this one would be in Windows 10, it would have the S mode version, Windows 10 in S mode. Same with Windows 11 being in S mode. And the problem is when you're using third party apps, you have to do it, get download Microsoft approved apps through the Windows store or a Microsoft store, however, you, whatever it is, whatever it's called. Cause you ain't, cause most of the time if you're downloading certain apps off the internet, it won't allow you to install them unless you take Windows out of S mode. which is a huge bummer because you're better off buying a laptop with like either f with 500 with a 500 gigabyte hard drive and store for storage and the minimum for like if you want something basic like with eight gigabytes of ram and 500 gigabyte or 500 gigabyte hard drive Something that's enough, un capable to run windows 11 for like somewhat minimum requirements. Because you don't want to waste money spending two hundred dollars on a laptop that can barely run, up, be able to be able to install a lot of programs like this one. But for this for this laptop's purpose, this one's basically going to just be be used for like basic web browsing. So. If you're looking, I wouldn't recommend buying a low-end laptop if you're going to run a lot of programs. So your best, my best thing is just to spend a couple extra hundred dollars to buy more, a decent powered laptop that's going to be able to run the current version of Windows. Something that's upgrade has upgradable memory and in a hard drive in case of one the hard drive or the memory fails and i hope this video is helpful to you guys and thanks for watching